What's happening people, it's your boy Breaks here back with another live reaction and oh, we have a good one today. Is this quite possibly the best Eminem verse? You tell me, you let me know. This is, this is quite possibly one of my favorite Eminem songs. It's his collaboration with Jay-Z on Renegade. Like, I remember when this song first came out, I was in, I was in sixth form, so back in the UK, so uh, I don't know what the equivalent is for, for you guys in the US, but I've just I just finished secondary school, um, first year college, year 12, I'm like 16. So whatever whatever age you guys are at 16, that's when I first heard this track. That's, that's when it came out. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what? You're not 16 now? You look young. I'm not 16 anymore, but hey, that's by the by. We, um, yeah, when I, when I first heard this, track, this, this song, it literally blew my mind, like, but from both of them, like from Jay and from M, like people like to say, and, we, and that's been thrown about, about that Eminem like kind of murdered Jay on this track, that he killed Dre on this track, um, Dre? Jay on this track. But yeah, M, oh man, like the way he rhymes his, mm, his, his syllables, his, his, his multis, his rhyme pattern, his schemes, the, the, the words that he's rhyming, this, this for me, is up there. This is like really up there with Eminem. Like he he killed it on this track. So the one I'm gonna I'm gonna react to today is a live performance of this track because we've all we've all heard it. We've all heard the the album off the blueprint. Um, but yeah, this is this is one of the only performances that I've seen them perform this live. Like let me know in the comments if you if you if there's any other videos out there where they're where they're performing this live. But this is like the only one that I can find. So this is the one I'm reacting to. So let's get straight into it. This is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. Here we go. Performing now together, ladies and gentlemen, Eminem and Jay-Z. Alright folks. Mm. What you about to witness, New York City, Detroit, history. <laughs> Put your hands together. Live band as well. Live band absolutely smashes it. I love it. There's nothing better than performing to a live band. We've all heard the album tracks. We don't want to just hear the backing track with you rapping over it. Give us something new. Give us some live instrumentation. Give us a live DJ. Yes, this is it. Here we go. What you have together? Talk about Jews, do you fools listen to music or do you just skim through it? See, I'm influenced by the ghetto. I love that line. Do you fools listen to music or do you just skim through it? Like, so many times people like drop an album or drop a track and people want to say, yeah, that's whack, that's rubbish, I, I don't want to listen to that. Half of the times, like, have they? Have you actually listened to it or have you just put it on for like the first 20 seconds or just kind of skim through it or, or really dissected it and listened to it? whilst you're doing something else, yeah? Like, listen to his tracks, listen to what he's saying before you try and pass comment and pass judgment on it. I love that opening bar. Do you fools listen to music or do you just skim through it? Nice. All right, let's take it back, let's take it back. Do you fools listen to music or do you just skim, skim through it? it? See, I'm influenced by the ghetto you ruined. The same dude, you gave nothing. I made something to it. What I do through and through it. I give you the news with a twist. It's just his ghetto point of view. The renegade, you've been afraid. I penetrate pop culture. Bring them a life closer to the block with they pop toasters. And they live with their moms. Got drop ropers. Who watch robberies? Yeah, they crouched over. Mommy's knocked up because she wasn't watched over. Knocked down by... So Dre's just like killing it. Dre's coming at you from a street perspective, yeah? Like he's giving you the news with a twist just as his point, a ghetto point of view. Like his, this is his perspective from a, tr a street's perspective. Ah, Dre, Dre's a master. Why do I keep saying Dre? Jay. It's cause I was just listening to Dr. Dre. I, I, and Dre and Jay sound like the same, but Jay, Jay is a master at what he does. Like, yeah, arguably one of the goats of the living era. Let's take it back, let's take it back. Yeah, they crouched over. Mommy's knocked up, cause she wasn't watched over. Knocked down by some clown with child support, not knowing on the ground. Now how that sound to you, chat it down. I bring you through the ghetto without riding round. Hiding down, ducking straight, frustrated you, stuck in a way. Just read a mess of being in the of my day. Mm. Great music that dumps with nothing relate to it. I'm on the average. They way through it, not you. 
you walk in my pants, can't step in my shoes. Bet anything you break, you lose your time, your shirt. Since I'm in a position to talk to these kids and they listen. I ain't no politician, but I'll kick it with them a minute. You see, they call me a minute. And if the shoe fits, I'll wear it. But if it don't, then y'all just swallow the truth, grit and bear it. What are you doing to me, Em? What are you doing to me? <sighs> like off the bat, off the bat, man. He just he just comes out slaying it, just just killing it on the rhymes, killing it on the rhythm. Mm, I'm gonna take it back. There's just no words. There's just no words for how insanely talented this guy is. Like he's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. It's just there's just no words, no words. Shoot fits, I wear it, but if it don't, then y'all are swallow the truth, grin and bear it. Now who's the king of these rude, ludicrous, lucrative lyrics? Who could inherit the title? Put the youth in the steerings. Using his music to steer it, sharing his views and his merits. But there's a huge interference. They say you shouldn't hear it. Maybe it's good to us, you. Maybe it's He hasn't changed the rhyme scheme since he's... And I think he does this for the whole verse. He's, he's, he's rhyming the same, the same rhyme pattern for the whole verse. Like, some people do it for, like, a bar or two. Maybe four or five or six or eight bars. He's doing it for the whole verse. Take it back and listen. The whole verse. Let me take it back a bit. Inherit the title. Put the youth in the steering. Using his music to steer it. Sharing his views and his merits. But there's a huge interference. That's it. You should inherit. Maybe it's hatred I spew. Maybe it's you for the spirit. Maybe it's beautiful music I made for you to just cherish. But I'm debated, disputed, hated, and viewed in America as a mother. You didn't experiment, nah, nah, nah. That's when you start to stare at who's in the mirror and see yourself as a kid again, and you get embarrassed. And I got nothing to do but make you look stupid as parents. You freaking do good, it's too bad you couldn't do good at marriage. And do you have any clue what I had to do to get here? I don't think you do, so stay tuned and keep your ears glued to the stereo. Because here we go, he's chicka chicka I'm the sinister, Mr. Kiss My Ass is just a. <sighs> see, I, I see, I, I, I get it. I get it. I, I, I get why people say that M killed Jay on this. It, it depends. It, you have to break it down to how you're looking at it and how you're approaching this track. If you're looking at it from a purely technical standpoint, from like a lyrics, a bars, a delivery, a scheme, like multi-syllable rhymes, then I would have to say, I would have to agree that M absolutely slaughters it. If you're talking about subject matter and kind of getting your point across, then I don't know, it's, it's a toss up between them two, but between the both of them. But like from a purely technical standpoint, 100% Eminem like, Bosses owns this track, owns it. Okay. I had to hustle my back to the wall, ashy knuckles, pockets filled with my neck. Not a set, not a bit. Lot of innocent laws up on the project, bitch. What you holler? <laughs> Puff, they're looking bored as anything. Like, you've got two of the greatest performances of all time, and the dude's just like. I'm not even sure if he's clapping in time. Come on, Puff, you can do better than that. Anything. I had to hustle my back to the wall, ashy knuckles, pockets filled with my neck. Not a set, not a thing. A lot of innocent laws lost on the project, bitch. What you hollering? Gotta pay rent, bring dollars in. Mm. Bottle of Omega, iron under my coat, feeling brave with two rag, wrapping my waves of pockets full of hope. Do not step to me, I'm awkward. I box left me, I'm awkward. My pops left right. me, I'm awkward. Right. I wasn't home. Could not stress me, I wasn't grown. Dress me on nights, I bought some. Something home, the quiet stuff. Now, J uh, Jay, I said it again. Why am I keep saying Dre? Jay, Jay is handling himself on this. So, some like every it's, it's common knowledge, especially for the Eminem fans, that this was originally a track that was um, that featured Royce the Five Nine, um, and it was originally that that like M and Royce on this track. I believe when um, Royce got signed to his label. Um, they, they only wanted to release one track feature in M and that was a different track that got selected. This one got pushed to the side um, and then I think M just repackaged it at a later day and said, look, can I take this track? Jay hopped on it and he, he did his thing. So Jay, Jay, Jay listened to M. He, he would have known what M was doing on this track. So he would have come at his best and his hardest to kind of keep up and compete with M. So like he, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing here, but... It's hard when you're on a track with M, like 
what can you do? You give, you can give your best, but sometimes that's just not going to be good enough. And I think on this occasion, like, Jay, he must, he came with his best, but technically, I just don't think it was good enough. I said it. I don't think it was good enough. All right. My demeanor, 30 years my senior, my childhood didn't mean much. Only raising greener, raising my fingers to critic, raising my head to the sky. Big, we did it more time before I die. Love no that. lie, just know I chose my own fate. I drove by the fork in the road and went straight. See, I'm a poet this summer, regular modern day Shakespeare. I'm Jesus Christ, the king of these latter day saints here. The shadow of the picture in which that is they paint me is the monger of fate, Satan, the scatterbrain baby. But that ain't the case. See, it's a matter of taste. We as the people decide if shady as bad as they say he is. Or is he the ladder a gate? Way to escape media scapegoat. Who they can be mad at today. See, it's as easy as cake. Simple as whistling dicks. While I'm waving the pistol to 60 Christians again. I go to war with the Mormons. I take a bath with the Catholics and only water. No wonder they try to hold me on the I'm a motherfucker. It's spiteful, delightful. I the new ice cube. Motherfuckers hate to like you. What did I do? I'm just a kid from the gutter making this butter on these Bananas. Bananas. Yes, Puff. Puff looks like he's enjoying himself now. He doesn't look as bored as he did before. You can't. You can't be bored when these guys are on the stage killing it like this. Hey. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! How about this? Jay chucking his hat into the crowd like his Michael Jackson. Woo! Yes, Jay Z, Eminem, Renegade. Yeah, probably. Yeah, for me, that's probably my favorite Eminem verse. Like both of them, both of them are just sick. Just the pure fact, the first verse, he just keeps that same rhyme, that rhyme scheme, that rhyme pattern throughout the whole verse. It just keeps it fresh and makes it intricate and just like, ah, oh, technically there is just so much to unpack with that. M is a true goat, absolutely true goat, especially, especially early M. I know you, I'm not going to get hate from some of you guys saying, listen to this, listen to that. But for me, early M is the one. There was nobody messing from a technical standpoint from early M and M. There, I said it. I said it. Let me know if you disagree. Hit me up in the comments down below. Is there a recent Eminem track that could compete with an early Eminem track? Let me know and I'll check it out. I'll review it. I'll react to it. Let's see it. But yeah, Eminem, Jay-Z, Renegade, live on the Letterman Show, banging live performance. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. All right? Cool. Peace. Uh, yeah, never wanna shy away from the flow and the bounce When that music hit, bro, you know what I'm about So many gimmicks, but you're acting the same I was out for a minute, now I'm back in the game And come again if you will, no, I gotta keep it real But beware, I don't have no upper limit with the skill Yeah, I'm damaging these damages, cut them like sharp eyes